Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Kill Team Battle Report. I am Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Lion Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 200-point kill team battle with commanders between my Gene Steeler cult and Taylor's Tau. So the uh, the story that we've got going on here is that a Gene Steeler cult infestation, uh, uh, there was an uprising on one of the planets that the greater good were trying to bring into the fold. Uh, so a force of Tau were sent sent in to try to infiltrate this area and take out uh, the leader of this uh, insurrection down here, a Primus, uh, right over here. Uh, so that is the, st uh, so they were sent in to go take him out and the Gene Steeler cult has responded to their presence uh, very violently. So <laughs> that is the story. The mission we're gonna be playing is going to be the cut off the head mission uh, from the commander. So basically I'm the defender, uh, uh, Taylor's the, the, the um, the, what's the word? Attacker. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Forgot what attacker was. Uh, the attacker. And essentially what he has to do is he has to kill my leader uh, before the end of the game. Otherwise, I win. So if, if I survive, I win. If he, he manages to kill him, he wins. So that is the story that we've got going on. That is the mission that we're going to be playing. Before we go any further, though, let's show you the two kill teams. So for the Gene Stealer cult, my kill team will consist of from left to right here. We have my commander, the Primus. We have a neophyte leader who is my leader. We then have uh, two aberrants with power picks. One is going to be my combat specialist. The other is going to be zealot specialist. Then I have a heavy specialist, a neophyte gunner with a mining laser. I then have three more aberrants with power picks. I have two acolyte fighters, one with a heavy rock saw, one with demo charges. And then I have uh, four pure strain gene stealers. And then for the Tau, his uh, kill team will consist of, from the back here, his commander, Kadra Fireblade, who is going to have a strategist uh, specialism. We then have a stealth suit, who will be his leader with a fusion blaster. We have a uh, fire warrior, who is the comm specialist. We have a pathfinder with a rail rifle, who will be his sniper specialist. And we have another pa uh, we have another stealth suit with a burst rifle, who will be his heavy specialist. We then, from the left here, have a guardian drone, another stealth suit with a burst rifle. We've got three fire warriors, two breachers, and we have three... Um, uh, pathfinders, one with a rail rifle, one with an ion rifle, and one with a pulse carbine. We then have a recon drone and a pulse accelerator drone. All right, so deployment now for the Gene Stealer Cult. I've got my heavy specialist up here in the building. I've got my commander down over in here. My leader is back over in the building over here. Across the front line here, we have my zealot specialist. We have uh, the guy with the heavy rock saw. We've got the four uh, pure strains right in the middle here. We've got the guy with the demo charges here. We've got the three regular aberrants, and then we've got the combat specialist aberrant over here. Uh, that's the deployment for the Gene Stealer Colt. Going over deployment now for uh, the Tau. We've got one of his breachers down here. We've got his comm specialist, the recon drone, and the sniper specialist right over there. We then have uh, the ionic, Ion accelerator pulse or pulse accelerator uh, drone in the back here, the guardian drone next to it. We then have the guy with the ion rifle. We've got the um, which is that guy? Regular the regular guy with the pulse carbine and the Kadra fire blade along here. We got the three fire warriors in the front there, as well as um, a stealth suit with a heavy burst cannon. Not the heavy, not the heavy specialist though. We then have the guy with the rail rifle uh, up in here, Pathfinder with the rail rifle up here. We've got another stealth suit with the fusion, so that's his leader down in front there. We then have his uh, stealth suit with the heavy burst cannon, who's the heavy specialist over here. And in front there, we have the other breacher. So uh, that is the uh, deployment. So now we will roll to see who will have the initiative going into turn one. I rolled an eight, my opponent rolled a three. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the uh, Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. All right, so we're going to roll now to actually see about Colt Ambush. All of my guys, except for the Pure Strains, have Colt Ambush. So we're going to roll now from right to left here. Uh, we'll see if my Zealot Specialist on a five up. He will get to go. We then have the guy with the Rock Saw. He will also get to move. We then have over here, we've got his, uh, the guy with the um, Demo Charges. Uh, will not. We then have uh, the three uh, guys, uh, regular... Uh, Aberrants in a row there. The first one from uh, right to left. 
no, no, and no, and then we've got the combat specialist over here uh, will also not go. All right, movement phase for the G Steeler cult. My leader stayed back here. I readied my uh, my heavy specialist up here. Uh, these two guys down here just moved to where they moved there. These two guys here advanced. He advanced up over here. He advanced up over here. He advanced up over there. Um, and now we are going to have some charges. So we're going to start with him charging into both the breacher and the heavy uh, specialist over here. So we'll do the heavy specialist first. These are going to be hitting on sixes, uh, getting one hit, strength five. strength five. So looking for a four to wound. That is a wound, AP, no AP. So looking for a five up save. Whoa, losing my dice here. Yeah, he good. Woo! And now the breacher is going to try to shoot him. Uh, getting one hit. Strength six. Strength six. So again, three to wound. Oh, one second. Yep. So looking for three to wound. No, no wound. My opponent's going to spend a command point to reroll that. Uh, that is a wound. AP minus two. Uh, so one second. All right. Minus two. AP minus two. Get no save there on my aberrant. So his charge distance now three inches, uh, four inches. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that into a five inches. We well, should get him in. And now my fighter here with the rock saw is going to fire, uh, go into the breacher and into his, um, his cell suit there. So we're going to go with the, the breacher first. Uh, nope, no hits there. And then into his leader there with the fusion blaster. No, no hit there. So his uh, charge distance. On a four inches, should get him in, but not much. Now, my pure strain here is going to charge into his stealth suit over there. So uh, he is going to greater good uh, shoot into him over here. Uh, he's got plus six inches to his range with uh, with the um, the pulse accelerator ion. No, pulse accelerator drone. So that means that he's in rapid fire range because of that. So he's got two shots here, hitting on sixes. No, no hits there. So I need a ten inch charge. Don't roll what you've been rolling so far for these charges. Oh, eight, so close. All right, so now my combat specialist here is going to charge into his uh, into his breach over there. Uh, I am going to need a nine inch charge, so he's going to overwatch here, looking for sixes. Nope, no hits there. So looking for a nine inch charge. No, don't make it. And now the regular aberrant's going to do the same thing, overwatch. Uh, no hits. Uh, ooh, just not enough. All right, movement phase for the Tau here on turn one. His breacher readied himself. His uh, con specialist readied himself. His sniper readied himself. Uh, did your the recon Baron also ready himself? Everybody over here readied themselves. And these guys were all stuck in combat, but this stealth guy uh, moved up over here. He also readied himself. So basically everyone readied themselves except for him who moved and the other guys who were uh, stuck in combat over there. So that is it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so my mining laser guy here is going to fire into his stealth suit. Uh, his stealth suit is going to have a minus uh, two to hit because he's obscured and because he has a... Um, a minus one to hit uh, aura, just basically because of his innate ability there. So I'm going to be hitting on a six here. So looking for a fill face. Show me that fill face. No, the opposite. So no, no hit. All right, so now his sniper specialist is going to fire into my heavy specialist over here. Uh, he has going to get, he's going to get plus one to hit from the con specialist, and he's going to ignore obscuring uh, for both to hit and for injury rolls, which is really interesting, uh, from the recon drone. Uh, but he is a little bit out of half range, so he is going to be minus one to hit, plus one to hit, hitting on fours. Rerolling Re ones because he's a sniper. Rerolling ones because he's a sniper. Oh, that's a hit. All right, strength. Strength six. Strength six. So wounding on a two. I think he's tough three. So wound on a two. That is a wound. AP. AP minus four. That goes straight through. <laughs> D3 damage. So D3 damage. Two damage. So two injury rolls because he's only got one wound. Looking for fours to go away. No, he does with that six. 
All right, so now uh, his breacher is going to fire into my guy over here. Uh, he is obscured from him, so he's going to be hitting on fives, but he's in like the short range, so he's like super strong with this breacher. So hitting on fives, getting one hit, so strength six, so looking for threes to wound. No, no wound. All right, so the regular guy down there is going to fire his marker light into uh, my uh, Demolitions bro up there, so it's going to be hitting on a five uh, because of obscured. So hitting on five because of obscured, but he's within half range. No, no hit. And now the commander is going to fire his marker light into my demolitions bro. Uh, obscured, but he's going to be hitting on a. Oh, one second. All right, he's got a two up ballistic skill, so he's going to be hitting on a three. That is a hit. So now the ion rifle is going to fire into my guy here because he has the marker light on him He is going to be uh, getting to reroll ones to hit almost like he's a sniper. So here we go two shots here hitting on uh, Obscured so hitting on fives uh, Getting one hit strength seven seven so twos to wound No, no wound all right, so now we're gonna go with these two uh, fire warriors can see him. So we're gonna go with the first, we'll do with the middle one, right? The middle guy? Yep, do his first. So he's got three attacks because of, uh, he did pop the aura for his uh, fire blade, Katra fire blade, so three attacks. Hitting on uh, fives because of obscured. Getting two hits. Rerolling once because of the marker light. So still two hits. Strength, five. five, so looking for threes to wound. Getting two wounds. No no AP, so we've got two five up saves. Show me them five ups. Oh, got one. So just one goes through. So what's the damage on it? One. One damage, so uh, roll. Yep, he only got one wound. And he's out. And now the one over there on the left is gonna fire into uh, my guy back over here in the back. Three attacks, hitting on uh, fives because of obscurement. Uh, getting to reroll. No, he doesn't have a marker light on him, so no hits. All right, so now this guy up here with the rail rifle is going to fire into the back guy over here. He is not obscured, and he's within half range, so two shots hitting on fours. Getting no hits. All right, so now his recon drone here is going to fire into the back guy over here. He's going to have four shots. These are going to be hitting on sixes because of uh, the, the various modifiers starting at five base, so uh, no hits there. All right, so now his uh, his uh, drone, uh, drone stealth suit up here is gonna fire into my combat specialist over here. So he's gonna have four attacks, hitting on fours because he's uh, within half range and he's not obscured and uh, it's not heavy. So, uh, so getting two hits, uh, strength five, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting no wounds. All right, so now my uh, we're gonna start in the fight phase here with my zealot specialist attacking into his stealth suit there. He has two base attacks, plus one because of the charge with the zealot. Uh, these are going to be hitting on fours though because of the stealth suit has an innate minus one on all attacks. It doesn't specify shooting, um, so it's just all attacks against them, which is pretty crazy cool. So here we go. These are going to be three attacks hitting on fours. Uh, getting two hits, pretty good. These are going to be strength six because of being on the charge with the plus one uh, from that. So these are going to be looking for threes to wound. Oh, I'm ugh. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll one of those. Why? Why do you hate me? Why? Why? All right, so now my fighter here is going to attack into the stealth suit. He's going to have two attacks. These are going to be hitting on fours again because of the stealth suit's innate ability. <gasps> All right, so now he's going to hit back with his leader over here. So he's got uh, three attacks. He's going to be hitting on fives, uh, getting no hits. Two from this guy into my uh, zealot specialist, hitting on fives, getting no hits. And one from the breacher into my uh, into my acolyte fighter. No, no hit. All right, so that is it for turn one. We will now roll to see who will have initiative going into turn two. Uh, seven to my 11. So I will be moving first. We will come back to you after the movement phase for the Gene Stealers. All right, movement phase for the Gene Stealer cult. This guy over here advanced over here. Um, they stayed in combat, uh, and my leader is going to stay back over there. And now uh, we are going to do a bunch of charges. So we're going to start with this front guy charging into his breacher over here. Um, so Overwatch, two shots hitting on sixes, getting no hits. So charge distance uh, is in. Now the second guy is going to charge into him, uh, makes it in. 
And my combat specialist is going to charge in. He's also in. My pure strain here is going to charge into his stealth suit. Ooh, two inches, but he is in. Come on, dice. My pure strain up here is going to charge into his stealth suit down there. And he is in. My primus is going to charge into his stealth suit up there. Uh, six inches does not get him in. So my pure strain here is going to charge into him up there. Not getting it, but swift and deadly, I can reroll failed charges. Seven inches will not get him in. And now this pure strain is going to charge into him up here. He is going to fire overwatch because he can't see him. Hitting on sixes. Uh, not getting anything. So I need a uh, a eight inch charge to get in. Uh, make it in. All right, movement phase for the Tau. This guy here advanced up through uh, the tunnel over here. Uh, this guy is stuck in combat. These guys, he stayed in combat, which is pretty brave of him. Did you want him to stay there? Yeah. You didn't have to if you didn't want to. Because I, I imagine you forgot him. <laughs> you did forget him. He may or may not be staying in combat. No, he's going to move. <laughs> he's going to fall back. That's a good call. So he's going to fall back, but the other two guys got charged, so they're stuck over there. Um, these guys uh, dropped down from the top there over here, looking onto my aberrant over there. Uh, which is, I feel pretty rude. Uh, this guy is stuck in combat with them there. These guys all moved out over here, getting uh, around over here, and this guy moved down from there, down to the bottom. So that is it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. As you do. All right, so starting off the shooting phase, he's gonna shoot his auto pistol into the stealth suit because why not? Reasons, you know? So hitting on a five though, because he's a stealth suit being all stealthy-like. Nope, no hit. All right, so my opponent's going to spend uh, a yeah, command point, one command point, and it allows this guy down here, his um, his uh, pathfinder, to uh, forego his shooting to move 2d6 inches. So, moving 5 inches, not bad. All right, so now, because he moved over here, he's actually in sight of my uh, commander, who is going to fire his needle pistol into him. So I'm going to be hitting on a 4+, plus because he's a little more than half range. Nope, not gonna do it with the one. All right, so this guy over here is this. Uh, this is a pathfinder. Yeah, this pathfinder here is going to fire his rail rifle. Yeah, ion rifle. Whatever. <laughs> his tau gun thingy. <laughs> Into my guy here, you can see him through the uh, the wall there, or through the the, the window over here. Uh, so he is going to be minus one because he's definitely obscured. Um, but uh, so he's going to be hitting on fives, right? But it's going to be not supercharged, so it's not heavy, so he's not minus one to hit from that. So two shots hitting on fives. Getting one hit. Strength seven, so looking for a three to wound. That's a wound, AP. Minus one, so I've got a six up save with him. Ah, uh, no, fail that, so he takes a wound. Yeah. All right, so now the fire warrior over here is within range of the Contra fire blade, so he is going to fire into my guy over here. He's going to have three shots. Um, is his gun's not heavy, is it? No. He's not, it's not heavy, so it's going to be three shots, hitting on fours. Okay, no hits. Recon drone's going to fire into him as well over here, so four shots, hitting on fives. Getting three hits. Wow, real well. Well, well done. There we go. Strength five, so threes to wound. Getting three wounds. Should have kept bringing my dice. I'm bringing my dice over here now. All right, so three dice. Uh, three dice. Three. Three wounds, so I've got three AP minus nothing. So three five ups. Why can't you roll like the other guy? So he is going to be taking a uh, injury roll here. On a six, he's out. All right, so now we're going to go with the front guy here who's going to fire into my pure strain over there. Three shots because of uh, the Contra fire blade there. So these are going to be hitting on fives because he's obscured. Getting one hit. Strength five, so threes to wound. That is a wound. Five up in serve. New no, goes through, so injury test. Uh, takes a uh, injury. Uh, takes a wound. All right, so now the next guy here is going to fire into him. Fives again. Uh, getting one hit. No, no wound. And now the commander is going to shoot into him, hitting on a three because of him being obscured. Getting two hits. Rerolling ones because of. Oh, he's going to spend a command point to reroll that one. Okay, so that's going to be three hits. Strength, uh, looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting one wound. 
Maybe that was the one you yeah. spent the command point to get. I imagine that's that's probably what it was. That's probably what it will. We'll go with that to make sure that we feel a little bit better about that. So one wound, five up invul save. Yeah, you good. Woo! No, not boo. Woo! All right, so now my pure strain here is going to start us in the fight phase into his uh, stealth suit there. So I've got three attacks hitting on fours because of the model's uh, the innate ability there. So that's two hits. Wounding on uh, toughness four, so wounding on fours. Uh, that is one wound, AP minus, uh, with a six, so that's going to be AP, one second. All right, so it's AP minus four, which would normally just goes straight through his armor, but uh, his uh, the uh, the Guardian drone's here within there, so he gets a six up invul save. Of course he makes it. Of course he does! All right, my pure strain over here is going to attack into him, hitting on fours. Get in and then and nothing. And now this pure strain is going to attack into that stealth suit. Getting two hits, I will take that. Wounding on fours. Getting no wounds. Yeah. All right, now my combat aberrant over there is gonna attack in. He's got three attacks hitting on threes. That is three hits. Um, strength five, so looking for threes to wound. Oh, getting one wound. AP minus, uh, uh, AP minus, one second. All right, so he's gonna take the six up invul save from the guardian drone. No, there that goes go. through. So, one, one. Uh, it's going to be D3 wounds onto him. So, three wounds. <laughs> All right, so three wounds, um, three injury rolls. Uh, yeah, he is out of action. Close, <laughs> but still out of action. Thank you for the D3. All right, the other two guys that charged here, they piled into these guys over here because they were the closest. Uh, I won't get to attack into them because I didn't declare them as, as targets, but I did get to just pile into them, which I feel was useful for keeping me from getting shot. <laughs> so we're going to move on now into um, more guys that are going to keep going around here. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to go over here to this guy who's going to attack into the stealth suit. Uh, he didn't charge, so he's only got two attacks now. These are going to be hitting on fours because of the stealth suit being all stealthy-like. Uh, getting two hits with fill faces, I'll take that. Uh, strength five, so looking for a three to wound. Getting one wound, AP minus two. So looking for a five up save. No, fails, so D3 wounds. One wound, does he have two wounds? He's got two wounds, so he's got one wound left. I'm uh, I'm gonna spend a command point to, ooh, can I, one second. Nope, I can't reroll it because uh, damage roll is not one of the ones that the tactical reroll will allow you to reroll. And now his leader's gonna attack into my rock saw guy, so it's three attacks hitting on fives. Uh, no, no hits there. And now my rock saw guy's gonna go into his leader over there. Two attacks hitting on four, so that's one hit. Uh, wounding on a two, because it's strength times two. That is a wound, AP minus, I think three, one second. All right, it goes AP minus four, he's just out of range of the Guardian drone, so that goes straight through his armor and it's two damage, which will kill him. So I will now roll two dice for his injury tests. Oh, I'm now I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll one of these. In a five and he's out of there. All right, so now his, uh, his stealth suit here is gonna attack into my aberrant. So two attacks, hitting on fives. Getting one hit, strength four, so looking for a four to wound. That's a wound, AP, AP, oh, minus, he goes AP minus six, and I was like, excuse me? So no, AP nothing, no, okay. <laughs> so looking for a five up save. No, goes through, so this is gonna take an injury, injury test. Oh, he is out! All right, so this guy over here is gonna have two attacks because he's a Shaz Wee, so it's two attacks hitting on fives. Uh, nope, no hits there. And these two guys are gonna attack into him, one attack each on fives. Uh, no, no hits. All right, so my pure strain here at the end of the turn has to take a nerve test. So we've got uh, four guys out of action, so four plus. Uh, four is eight, he is good to go. So uh, at the end of the turn there, no one has to roll for break test yet. So um, my opponent has two out and I've got uh, four out, but neither of those are more than half. So now we will roll for initiative going into turn three. I rolled an 11, my opponent rolled an eight. So there we go. Uh, so we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Stealers.
All right, so uh, movement phase for the Gene Stealer cult. Uh, my leader is actually going to stay where he is. He's going to stay in combat. He's going to stay in combat, and he's going to stay in combat. Now we've got a bunch of charges. So we're going to start with my pure strain here, charging into his uh, stealth suit up there. So he needs a nine inch charge to get in. Uh, re rolling because of himself. And he makes it with a 10 inch charge. And now my Primus is going to charge into his uh, Breacher over here. So he's going to have two shots here. Oh, Pathfinder. Sorry, Pathfinder over there. Two shots. Looking for sixes. Nope, no hits there. So he's going to need a 7 inch charge. Uh, not going to make it. So I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. And he makes it. Now my guy with the Rock Saw is going to charge into his Stealth Suit over there. Uh, six inches should make it. Out. My pure strain here is going to charge into his dude bro back over there, so he can see him. And he is going to greater good. So we're gonna go with the. Uh, let's go with him first. So. Uh, no, no, no. The guy, the guy who's being charged. So two shots with his ion rifle, right? Rail rifle. Ooh, I keep guessing the wrong one. All right, so rail rifle here, hitting on uh, sixes. No, no sixes. And then the greater good guy. The GGG, if you will. Uh, no, no hits there either. All right, four inch charge. Oh, he's in. And now my combat specialist over here is going to charge into his commander and his uh, fire warrior right there. Uh, so these are going to be uh, three shots each. So because he's that guy back there is going to greater good. So we'll do. Uh, let's do the the. It doesn't make a difference. We'll do the first guy first. <laughs> yeah. That's one hit. Strength uh, five, so three to wound. That's a wound. AP, nothing. So he's good with a fill phase. Woo! And here comes the other guy's shots. Uh, get in a hit. That is a wound. Oh, and that is not a save, so he takes a wound. And his charge distance is in. All right, moving phase for the Tau. His, uh, the guy that was engaged over here uh, moved back over here, uh, fell back over this way. These two guys over here uh, moved back over this way. Uh, these guys are all, uh, or this guy, I guess, stayed in combat. These guys are locked in combat. The drones kind of moved over this way. Uh, he's locked in combat. This guy uh, double-timed it over that way, running away for his life. He's stuck in combat. Um, he's stuck in combat, and over here, uh, this guy uh, double timed it over this way and he just moved up over this way. So that is it for the movement phase uh, We will come back to you with the shooting phase All right, the sniper over here with the rail rifle is gonna shoot into my aberrant over here He's gonna have two shots hitting on uh, Fours the rail rifle is not heavy, right? Right. Yeah, so just two shots hitting on fours uh, Getting one hit strength six. six so looking for a three to wound That is a wound AP Minus four, so that's gonna go straight through the damage. D3. D3 damage, this is gonna be minus one because of the aberrant special rule, so D3. Uh, two uh, minus uh, one is going to make it to a one. Well a All right, he's gonna spend a no, command. Can't reroll damage. Can re damage, that's right. You learned that yeah. the hard way, or I learned it the hard way, and now you've also learned it the hard <laughs> way. Everyone's learning it the hard way, so he takes one wound. All right, so now his recon drone is going to fire into him. He's going to take the benefit of the uh, comm specialist. We had a bit of discussion because we weren't sure if uh, drones can get the benefits from it, uh, but looking it up, they can't be specialists and they're not part of a, uh, a fire. fire team. Uh, and the, the specialism from, from, the, from the comm specialist just says a model from your kill team that's within six inches. So uh, we, I mean, it looks to us like he definitely can. Uh, we, we don't have much thought into it, but just wanted to let you know that we had that discussion uh, going on. But yeah, so he's going to take the plus one to hit from the comm specialist, shooting into my Avern over here. So he's going to have four shots hitting on fours. Uh, getting one hit. All right. <laughs> Didn't much matter. And that is a wound, though. AP nothing. So looking for a five up. Oh, he's not good. I'm, uh, I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. Nope. Still not good. So uh, injury roll. No, takes a flesh wound. All right, so starting off the fight phase now, my combat specialist is gonna attack, put all of his attacks into the Kadra Fireblade over there. So three attacks, hitting on threes. Getting one hit, uh, wounding on a uh, three. That is a wound, AP minus two, so six up save. 
No, goes through. D3 wounds. Giving him three wounds. All right, so now my pure strain that charged into the suit up here is going to be attacking into him. Minus one because of flesh wound. Minus one because of uh, the suit being the suit. So it's going to be three attacks hitting on fives. Uh, getting two hits. I'll take that. Wounding on uh, strength four, toughness four. So they're looking for fours to wound. That will not do it. My guy with a rock drill, uh, rock saw is going to attack into him over here. So two attacks hitting on fours. Uh, not getting anything, adding up to a four. All right, I'm going to spend a command point to re-roll one of those to hit. That is a hit. Uh, wounding on a two. That is a wound. AP minus four. So that's going to go straight through. Um, D3 damage. Oh, no, no, it's two damage. I'm sorry. It's two damage. Uh, so that's going to be two damage. So it's going to be... Takes takes him out, so then I have to roll to see on his, uh, and with a five, he is out of action. Now this guy back here is going to attack, three attacks, hitting on threes. Uh, getting two hits, wounding on toughness, T3, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting one wound, and one of which is at AP minus four, so that's gonna go straight through, so. Uh, he has a five up base, so both, uh, no, this one would have just been minus one. He would have had a six up on this one, but this one is going to go through. So anyway, he has to take an uh, injury roll of a three, so he just takes a flesh wound. And now my Primus is going to attack into him. I've got five attacks because of him being the melee specialism, so uh, these are going to be hitting on twos. I'm going to be using the... Um, the Toxin Injector Claw that always wounds on a 2+. plus. Further, uh, furthermore, each time you make a wound roll of a 6+, plus uh, with this weapon, it, uh, it, the hit is resolved with an AP of minus 4. So Toxin Injector Claw, these are going to be hitting on 2s. Uh, okay, uh, getting 4 hits. Wounding on 2s because of the Toxin Injector Claw. Uh, getting 3 wounds, no 6s, so it's just going to be 3 AP minus 1, so 6 up saves. Uh, making none of them, so we've got one uh, roll to see injury roll here. On a three, he takes a flesh wound. All right, so now I'm going to activate my pure strain up here to tag into him. Three attacks hitting on fours because of the suit. Uh, getting two hits, wounding on threes, uh, fours, fours, wounding on fours. Uh, getting one wound, AP minus one, four up. He makes it. All right, the fire warrior there is going to attack into my aberrant over here on a five. Oh, it's a hit. Wounding on a strength three. So looking for a five to wound. No, no wound. All right, so now my aberrant here is going to put one attack into each. We'll start with this guy and then move on to that guy. So first attack hitting on a three. Does not hit. And the second attack does not hit. All right, so now his commander is going to attack into uh, my combat specialist over here. And he's going to have three attacks. These are going to be hitting on threes. Getting two hits. Strength three. So looking for five to wound. Getting one wound. AP nothing. So looking for a five up save. He's good. And then the one attack from the fire warrior into him. Hitting on a five. No, no hit. All right, Breacher here, Bob, no, uh, fire, Pathfinder here is going to attack into my Pure Strain on a six because he's got a flesh wound. No, no hit. And now the Stealth Suit up here is going to attack into the guy with the flesh wound, so he's got two attacks, hitting on uh, fives, uh, getting one hit, strength four, so looking for four to wound. That is a wound. AP, uh, doesn't make a difference, he's got a five up in Vol save. And he's good, woo! And now the Pathfinder Shazui is going to attack into my commander over here. He's got two attacks, hitting on sixes because he's got a flesh wound. Uh, that is not going to hit. All right, so at the end of the turn, we've got some nerve tests to take. His guy over here has a flesh wound. He has three guys that are knocked out of action. So three plus uh, two is five. He's good to go. And then this guy back here is three plus uh, one is four. He is good to go. Um, and then I've got a couple guys that uh, have to take it. He has to take one over here. So I've lost, um, I've lost four guys. So four plus uh, three is seven. He is good to go. And this, uh, and the pure, uh, the pure strain up there is four plus uh, five is nine. It's actually still good to go because he's got a leadership of nine. Pretty good. All right. So neither of us are breaking at this point. So we will now roll to see who have uh, advantage going into turn five, four, four. four. 
think, think turn four. So here we go, turn four. Uh, I get an 11, so we'll come back to you at the movement phase. That's three, in a row. Four, that's three in a row. It's three in a row. Come back to you with the G Steeler cold turn. All right, movement phase. Everyone who is in combat is staying in combat. Everyone who's out of combat is going to be charging. So we're going to start with my pure strain here. He's going to charge into these two guys. So we're going to go with uh, which one first? The shotgun guy first, back over here. So that's two shots hitting on sixes. No, no hits. And then two shots from this other guy here, getting no sixes. So his charge distance. Ah, uh, we'll get him in. My rock saw guy is gonna charge out through the door over here into this guy over here. Five inches will not get him in. My leader here is gonna charge into his dude bro back over here, makes it in. And then he's gonna charge into uh, this guy over here. Uh, so uh, he's gonna fire and then he's going to uh, greater, oh, both of them are gonna greater good over here. So we're gonna go with this guy first. So two shots on sixes. No hits there. Then we've got four shots from the drone on sixes. No hits there. And then uh, two shots from this guy over here looking for sixes. Don't do it. No, no sixes. So his charge distance uh, is in. Moving phase for the Tau. His sniper and his drone here readied themselves. He is locked in combat. Uh, he moved up there. Oh, fell back. That's right. He fell back from over here over to there. Um, these guys moved up over this way. Uh, his, both of these guys fell back over this way. He readied himself. This guy here fell back out of combat. Um, he fell back out of combat from here over to there. Uh, he already, we already talked about him. He's locked in combat, they're locked in combat, and that is it for the Tau movement phase. So we'll come back to you with the shoosting phase. All right, so now his sniper here is gonna start us off by shooting into my pure strain over there. Two shots. Rerolling one. Rerolling one. So hitting on fours. Yep. All right, no reroll on that two. Uh, that's one hit though. Strength six. Six, so threes to wound. That is a wound. Five up in vol save. No, goes through. Uh, D3 damage. So that's going to be two damage, so two injury rolls. Oh, wow, doubly out. This guy here is going to fire into my pure strain up on top there. I think fives because of obscured. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's obscured up there, so it's going to be fives to hit. Uh, no, no hits. He's going to now fire into these guys because he has the fly special rule. I was going to fire as, even though he fell back. So he's going to put two shots into each of them. I'm going to go the one with the flesh wound first. Two shots hitting on fives, hitting on fives because of obscurement. Uh, nope, no hits there. And the next guy hitting on fives. Uh, getting one hit. Strength five. Strength five, so threes to wound. That's a wound. Five up, involve save. No, goes through. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. No, goes through. On a five, though. On a, uh, on a five because he's obscure. Or uh, flesh wound, so. All right, so that is it for the um, that is it for the uh, shooting phase. So into the fight phase, we'll start with my leader down here. He's going to have uh, two attacks into into that dude bro over there, hitting on uh, fours, uh, getting one hit, toughness three. So looking for a four to wound. That is a wound, regular save. Five up. Five up. Oh, he's good. A pure strain is going to put three attacks into his Pathfinder over there. Going to be uh, hitting on threes, getting one hit, wounding on a three. That is a wound. AP minus one. Six up. Six up save. No, goes through. Injury roll. Oh, takes a flesh wound. This guy over here is now going to attack into uh, into his guy here. Two attacks, hitting on fours because he's got a flesh wound. Getting two hits, wounding on uh, strength uh, user. So wounding on a three. That is going to be two wounds. AP minus two. Sixes. Sixes. Uh, no, neither goes through. So two D3 damage. One damage each. Injury roll. <laughs> he's out with a fill phase. Now my Primus will attack in here. He's going to have five attacks uh, because of being the melee specialism. Hitting on twos. Injector claw, so wounding on twos. Uh, getting three wounds. AP minus one. Sixes. Sixes. Uh, nope, not making any of them. So one damage, one injury roll, plus one because of the wound there. Oh, and he's out with a six. All right, so now these guys are going to attack back into my pure strain. He wasn't able to consolidate into him. So we're going to go with the Pathfinder first. 
six. On a six, because he's got a flesh wound. No, no hit. And then the uh, breacher on a five. Hey, that is a hit. Wounded on a five. Wounded on five. No, no wound. All right, so now these guys are going to attack into my aberrant. So we're going to go with uh, Pathfinder. Pathfinder first. Five. On a five. No, no hit. And then the drone on a, on a five. No, no hit. All right, so at the end of the turn, we've got some nerve tests to take. We're going to go with uh, this, this guy over here first. Uh, this is the um, uh, uh, Pathfinder. That's the word I was looking for, the Pathfinder here. So he is going to have uh, looking, he's got five guys out of there. So five plus uh, one is six. He's good. That is his leadership, so he's good to go. Uh, we've got the one guy over there, so five plus five is out, so he is going, or failed, so he's going to be nervy. Um, and then we've got, on my side, I've got two guys up here, so we're going to have one, uh, the one closest to me first, plus uh, five to this roll, he's good. And the next one, plus four, is actually good with his nine. He has to roll over here too, plus five is five is ten. So he's actually going to be uh, nervous. So uh, failed the nerve test there. Uh, so that is going to be it for uh, the nerve test. Uh, this is the end of turn four, which I believe we roll to see if it goes on. Am I correct? That's usually. Yes, I think so. Yep, with a random, that's you do as the attacker has to roll. So on a three up, we'll go on to turn five. No, we do not. And because my leader is still alive, this is a Gene Stealer cult victory. Man, this got messy real quick and super awesome. At first we were wondering how like the, the, line, the line of sight blocking in the middle there, because we wanted to make sure that I wasn't just, it wasn't just like an open kill field for me to like just like crawl across and just get like mowed down by all of his shooting. But I also didn't want it to be just completely like blocking where there was just nothing he could do until I was in his face. So the way it worked out, the, the fact that I was so aggressive, even with that blocking, it, it made it so he could shoot at my guys pretty well and I could get into combat with his guys. And I mean, we both killed five guys. I mean, <laughs> you can't get much more balanced than that, I don't think. <laughs> so we both were obviously able to at least quasi do what we do best for somewhat. So, but it got crazy. He, you know, there's Tau all over the board, which I mean, that's not what Tau do. So that means that I at least disrupted him a little bit. So that was a ton of fun. I had a great time with this one. Really good time. Really good time. Uh, and I think if it had gone on, I don't know. I feel like I feel like he's in a pretty good position. But I felt like this stuff was gonna going to crumble sooner than later I think. I think I was going to have trouble. I think it was going to crumble sooner or later than later over here. Uh, so that is going to be uh, the game and I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Taylor and until next time have fun.